One player who has had a lot of attention for his comments is the Australian Josh Cavallo. He very quickly, after coming out, said he would be scared to come here and play at the World Cup in Qatar. What do you say to that? I would say that, um, on the contrary, you know, we welcome him here in the state of Qatar. We welcome him to come and see even prior to the World Cup. Nobody feels threatened here. Nobody feels unsafe here. And I think, unfortunately, maybe he's getting this perception because of, you know, reading a lot of these uh, accusations or reading a lot of these uh, uh, news stories that, you know, shine a negative light. And I think, you know, Qatar is like any other society in this world. Qatar is not different than any other society in this world. It is a society where homosexuality isn't allowed. It is a, um, a hospitable and it is a very um, tolerant society. I, I disagree with you, Amanda. But open homosexuality is not allowed, is it? What do you mean? What's open here, homosexuality? Here in, in Qatar. Everyone is welcome. Listen, public display of affection is frowned upon. And that goes across the board. Across the board. Qatar is a modest country. That's all that needs to be respected. Other than that, everyone's free to live their life. People can be imprisoned for being homosexual in, in Qatar. People can be imprisoned for being heterosexual in Qatar. I don't understand your question. Are you saying that... Well, heterosexual, homosexual people live in Qatar. Are you saying that homosexual people can be open and I feel think safe? Public, I think public display of affection is frowned upon. And public display of affection across the board is frowned, up, frowned upon. Can homosexuals be open, openly gay, in Qatar and feel safe? Yes. Qatar is like any other society on earth. People live in Qatar as they do in any other country around this world. What I'm saying is... People do in, not go in to prison in, in different countries, the UK. There is, a, um, there is more leniency in, to public display of affection. But again, Qatar and the region are a lot more modest and Qatar and the region are a lot more conservative. And this is what we ask uh, fans to, to respect. And we're sure that fans will respect that. We respect different cultures, and we're sure that fans will also respect uh, the culture of the region. This is not something that's um, particular or peculiar to, to Qatar or to just the neighboring countries. A lot of countries around the world are quite conservative. And, you know, I think the notion that people won't feel safe here is, is untrue. So where is the line when you're saying we ask people to be respectful? Where is the line in terms of what is acceptable and what is not? I think people understand that innately, Amanda. I think people understand what it, you know, once you go to a country, you get a sense for the country and you get an, an, an understanding uh, of the country. Some countries are more conservative than the others. No, same-sex marriage is still, um, is, is, is not legal here in Qatar. Like it is not legal in majority of countries around the world. Yeah. So you are not allowed to be married to a man? Correct. So. If a homosexual couple married in the UK or in the United States was to come here to Qatar, then what? They can come here to Qatar. And be 100% safe and free to act as a married couple? They will be coming to Qatar as fans of a football tournament, they can do whatever any other human being would do. But what I'm saying is Qatar, from a public display of affection factor, is conservative. 